Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Padan, your trainer for this entire series. So in today's topic, we are going to talk about a bit about the file system. Especially we are going to focus in REFS. What are the new things that we are supposed to know in this operating system? It's not only for the Server 2022, for your previous version of operating system, which was started actually since Server 2012. So without wasting much time, so let's discuss today about the few changes that we can see from FAT file system to the REFS. Now, if you see the first file system that was introduced by the Microsoft was obviously a FAT16 actually. So since then, the many types of new file system has been introduced in the market. So first we are going to talk about the NTFS because we all know that nowadays we hardly use a FAT file system because the NTFS file system is having the new features and obviously we are going to talk about the latest file system that we have in the form of your RFS. So when we talk about the advantage of implementing a new file system that's a NTFS, new technology file system and the fact was the file allocation table. Obviously without having this file system we will not be able to have any kind of file system in the operating system. Now when we talk about the practical utilization or the benefit of this NTFS when uh, XP was launched actually okay since then Microsoft introduced the new type of file uh, system that was the NTFS file system now what we find in NTFS file system was number one it supported the encryption that means now your file is secure so after you take or you encrypt any kind of file or a folder that you have in your system so easily this cannot be decrypted that means it is secure against the viruses actually or even unauthorized user will not be able to have access over your folder that you have actually encrypted in your system okay now the number two when we talk about the advantage of using this is encryption as we have already uh, you know di discussed that is your less attack from the virus actually because the file that is encrypted will not get affected actually by the virus that means there is a less chances of being you know uh, decoded or being uh, destroyed by any kind of file or this virus that is being injected in your system so that's why the NTFS file system is bit secure that means it's less virus attack chances is there if the encryption is used and then this encryption is possible only with the help of your NTFS file system now when we talk about the third advantage over your NTFS that means over the FAT file system that is the compression that means if you are using the file system FAT in the older version or even in the latest operating system in the new version also uh, this FAT can be used but I do believe that none of us are going to use over here nowadays now because of all of this feature now if you use NTFS file system that file can be compressed now the advantage of compressing a file is that the size of the file will get dramatically reduced that means for example if this is the small size of file over here that you are taking from one source to the destination or sometimes it might happen that your file size is quite bigger in your system and your you know space is almost getting out of space so what we can do we can compress it that means we can even compress it even half of its size that means it's going to save the space of your hard disk as well obviously when we talk about the server 2016 and 19 of course now it's a server 2022 there are many changes there are many new features the tools that we find most especially if we talk about your you know data deduplication that is the best feature so far i find from the microsoft for the file system of course it, it's not a file system but the feature one of the most important feature in order to save the space of your file stored your logical volume actually so now it can it compress the file so that the file size can be reduced to the smaller scale now the next feature that we have in NTFS actually is auto defragmentation it will automatically defragment actually your files that you have okay that means the files that are being stored in scatter way whenever you access a file is going to read the traction sector so it's going to take a longer time so now NTFS file system has a capability to defragment automatically and if you remember when the windows 7 was launched or since the windows vista the new technology new features so many things were introduced basically when we come to the age of windows 7 actually the new technology was launched that was the bit locker now in order to use this bit locker your file system should be ntfs 
okay now this bit locker actually what it does it will encrypt your entire drive actually it will encry encrypt your partition that even is having the operating system or the partition that might not have the operating system but the main concept is that to lock your drive with the encryption mechanism and it's not only to encrypt but that can be decrypted only with the password to the drive Nowadays, I have seen the many systems that when the system gets restarted, you are supposed to provide with the password even to boot the system because that is being encrypted. Now, why we're doing that? These all are the security measures that are being provided with the new type of file system, basically the NTFA. So your drive can be locked with the in encryption mechanism along with the password so this was the basic idea the you know the introduction what the, the features that we all having in ntfs file system why do you need to use ntfs rather than a fat okay now we are going to focus in the latest your file type the file system that is being introduced by the windows server obviously that start from the windows server 2012 now that's a refs refs means resilient file system the first thing that you need to understand over here, the REFS is not a completely new file system. This is actually built from the NTFS file system. That means whatever difficulties that the system admins or whatever difficulties the users were facing in order to store their file, in order to secure their file, the Microsoft had overcome a bit using this new technology file system that is a resilient file system. I do understand that people hardly use this, but trust me guys, if you are working as a system aid, you must, must, must need to know about this file system. So it's completely built on the base of your NTFS file system. It's not the replacement. If we talk, say that it's a replacement for NTFS, in that case, trust me guys, you won't have operating system. Why? Because in order to install the operating system, your file system should be NTFS, not REFS, don't forget this. So now it's a new file system, okay, that you know addresses the major issues that we all were facing actually. All we're facing in terms of NTFS. Okay, so whatever uh, the issues that we are facing, facing, okay, with the help of this NTFS file, of course, it's a good file system having the many, many, many advantages rather than comparing to your file system. But still, our ones are unlimited. We want so many new things every day in our life. So the Microsoft has done the same thing. That means that's our FS file system. So it's a new file system not a replacement it it was built in the with the base of your ntfs file system that is actually used to you know address some of the issues that we all were having in the ntfs file system so it's more resilient against the data corruption and it scaled better for larger data capacity now if we talk about the exact utilization of this rfs why do i need to use it for in that term okay now actually rfs protects data corruption actually when a file is being written or read, it examines the file to ensure it's okay. That means data integrity is going to check itself. That means after the file is stored in your system, it's going to check whether the file is okay or not. Any changes are made that is not readable or something, anything that might have brought any changes with the help of virus or anything goes wrong, this RFS file system will find it, will examine automatically without letting the user knowing this, okay? Now, basically, it's a new technology as we have already discussed over here. It's a, it has a built-in technology to detect data corruption on the fly. User don't have to know when the things went wrong, okay, when the file were corrupted, as it does automatically. That means it is mostly applicable or it is mostly beneficial to us when we use the RAID actually. I do believe that you all know about RAID. So in the coming days, uh, if I find any query, any question to make a video about the rate obviously i'm going to post it but right now our concern is refs that means when the rate is done with the help of refs okay it detects the corrupted data automatically and repairs the problem that means in a rate you have a one copy in a one drive so if the data of second drive it seems to be corrupted it will try to locate the original source of data or the exact the working copy of the data from the main hard disk and it's going to copy it automatically to the another drive that means it does the auto repair automatically that means it it identifies the error and it will rebuild that automatically so it's going to help a lot in the raid as well now the another question comes what if i do not have a raid for example over here see now what if there is no another copy of rfs 
That means in that case, immediately it will remove the corrupted file so that that corrupted file will not be the agent to corrupt the rest of the file in your system. It's amazing technology from Microsoft. Now, because of your self repair, the RFS drive doesn't need to be rebooted. Remember, in NTFS, when the systems are replaced or uh, some of the things are, you know, corrected, what it does, it will automatically restart the system. It will reboot the system. Whereas in your RFS, like NTFS, the drive will fix automatically in terms of the file and the system will not get rebooted as well. So it's a bit advantageous comparing to your NTFS. Now, if you think, uh, why do I need to use this RFS when the NTFS is doing the fantastic work? Okay, it's okay. There is no issue on that. But as a system admin, as a system engineer, as an IT head, you need to move forward in order to stand, in order to, uh, you know, show your better capability, okay, better performance in terms of information, this technology, you will have to adopt the changes because every organization look forward to new technology, not in an old technology. So that's why I suggest you all to work, start working in RFS, okay? Now, if I ask, or if you are going to ask me, is it really needed? Of course, why? Because it supports much larger volume than NTFS. That means it can support the larger volume than comparing to the NTFS. RFS can also support up to more than 3768 characters file path, actually. It's amazing. Now. It offers the better performance with virtual machines. So if you are working with the virtual machines, okay, Hyper-V and all, it performs better and faster actually. So it supports the block cloning, which accelerates the virtual machine cloning and checkpoint merging operations. Okay, do not forget that Windows cannot be booted with the help of RFS file system. That means in order to, you know, boot your operating system, of course, the RFS is the new technology. It has many, many, many advantages, auto healing, auto correction. These are all the features that we are having. Okay, the less chances to get attacked by the viruses, entire things are new. But still, the Microsoft has not come up with this option to let you boot with the partition where the partition file type is the RFS. So that's why in order to boot your system, I suggest you that you make a one partition NTFS from where you are going to boot it and rest of the partition you can use as a RFS so that your data integrity is safe. Okay, error detection is there and your file is saved all the time. Now I'm going to show you how to create uh, your partition with the help of RFS. Okay, so le let's continue now with creating one partition with having a file type for the first time RFS. Okay, now let's see how to create a partition or a file system partition with the file system RFS in Windows Server 2022. So let's go to the disk management. Okay, I'm going to go to the disk management first in order to create my partition. So let's not waste your time and create only small amount of space in order to see the new file system that we have over here. So I'm going to shrink it and I'm going to use at least a 1 GB for the sample. So let's go it for a 1 GB of space. From the my C drive, I'm going to shrink it and we're going to create a new file system partition that is RFS. So let's go to the new file, simple volume, next. And it's a amount of space that we're having over here. So any name that you would like to give, that means that any letter that you'd like to assign for this one. So let's assign this letter and see the file system over here. Now from here, you have option 5, 532 NTFS and this is our concern over here, that is REFS. So let's go, in, let's go with the new file system that we're going to use for the first time in Windows Server 2022. But make sure this is not introduced in Server 2022. It was started since Server 2012. So the any volume level that you'd like to assign over here, okay, you can assign it over here and we're going to perform a quick format. So let's go format it and now we'll see that the partition this file system is a bit different comparing to the previous one okay so let's go to the drive over here the drive in a sense a logical volume of course the volume that we create its term as a logical volume now we don't term it as a drive now if i go to the properties of this drive okay of the logical volume if i go to the properties over here you see the amount of space is 1 gb okay now this is empty Okay, now if I take you to the properties of this partition, okay, partition, 
you see it is used a file system is RAFS now this RAFS file system is going to have all those features that we have discussed in order to use all the facility auto your you know recovery okay and of course it's going to have a virus easily it cannot be affected for this file system okay it can have so many so many features that the microsoft has come up in order to overcome some of the issues that we are having in your file system that is a ntfs so i do believe this was a brief on a, it, it was a bit introductory part and it gives you you know some kind of basic information or ideas which file system is to be used for your data in integrity okay so if you find it fruitful please do like and subscribe thank you